Hello and welcome to Flory Models. Here we are with you on Friday the 10th of December 2021. My lord, was it just over a fortnight till Christmas? Where has the time gone? Anyway, this week's been really, really busy. There wasn't much actually happened on Monday because to be honest with you, I was working on this and doing the review and things like that, as well as catching up with mugs and all start those types of things on the Monday. So really it all started properly on Tuesday. And on Tuesday, as we can see just down in here, we had the daily show up there where obviously I did it as a vlog. So it's proper me walking around talking nonsense uh, and showing you a few things behind the scenes, various bits and pieces like that during in there. Also, Matt as well put up uh, the final part of his uh, 1 16th scale German Trooper. Uh, with the actual figure painting. So he's talking about obviously doing the diorama base and all the various areas like that. So you can go off and catch that one up. And then obviously we had the review for the Battlestar Galactica because again, I was sort of waiting for a said kit to turn up, which is probably going to turn up tomorrow or Monday. Um, but uh, as always, uh, it's just literally a day too late. So I've pushed on with another one. So we've gone for forward with the Battlestar Galactica, which again, I've wanted to build this kit for, well, last, as we worked it out, 14 years uh, that I've had it in my stash and finally we've got around to doing it so I've done a review of it you can see the details of it all down in here and actually it's a really really nice kit typical Mobius as in it, there's no tiny little bits of detail to add and everything else like that everything's molded in but because of the scale as you can see it's pretty good right off the bat it's not one of these where you know you have to worry too much about all little fiddly bits going in there you can put it together roughly in around about two and a half hours and uh, you're good to go on it but you said there is nice details which really look very sort of soft if you like when they're on the actual sprues but once you get them off uh, and get it into primer it really Really does come alive there we go that's i actually bought this when it was a new release uh, as you can see back in 2013 so it's a few years old now but actually it's a really really nice kit so i've always wanted to do it so we started to pop it together and bits and pieces down in there and the full review as you can see is over there and you can go off and watch that one on tuesday sorry on wednesday it was the pm show so me and the guys were talking all things and again it's one of those strange weeks because we are literally just waiting for everything to turn up and as always it turned up during the show so as you might see down there we had a huge delivery turn up and uh, we've got the sr 71 blackbirds came in we've had a load of hornets in we've had all various bits and pieces turn up so again it uh, literally turned up right at the end of the show as well but that one is up there as well so you can go off and see that so anything all kit related various bits and pieces that is definitely the show for you it's about a one hour show every week that we do uh, on a Wednesday the morning then last night we actually had the live show that went up and again brilliant to have you guys all involved we were talking about scales and different things and the details in scales and eyesight uh, through to absolutely everything as well as answering your questions so again it was a great show to have you on there and then today for me I've had quite a few deliveries that have literally just turned up. So review wise, next week, expect tons of it to actually come in. So as you can see, my Hornet collection has turned up. Um, I really do like the Hobby Boss F18 Hornet, it's really nice. Obviously we've already done a review of this one, uh, the Echo, the single seat one, but now we've got the Foxtrot, uh, which is different box art, I think, from Hobby Boss to do that. I was thinking, I wondering if that was a rush job uh, to get it out, maybe to sort of gazump another company, uh, but they definitely did with that one because we've got the Growler. And to be honest, the Growler is my favorite of all three uh, different types of them. The subtle changes between the F and the G, like it's got the little wing fences with the sort of dog's tooth system into it and a few other little bits and pieces like that. But again, really, really nice. And what I'm gonna be doing is obviously having a, I think we're gonna call it Hornet Month, where I do intend to build a few including this one so again i was never a fan of the single seat one because i really do think that it's horrible and it's wrong but this is one of those ones where when you look at the price of this kit and i've just had to pay a hundred pounds for a technically second hand one off of ebay of an academy version uh, of it this one's actually quite good value for money so what i'm sort of hoping with this particular system is that it will be very much like when we did the typhoon and that it's gonna need a little bit of work it's probably gonna need a little bit of filler a bit of finesse things like that but hopefully we can actually turn this into something really nice and if you've been following along with everything i've been talking about over the last week you'll know next year i've got some big changes coming into flory models we are literally going big again whereas this year we've done smaller models things like that we're going to be doing big kits and throwing the kitchen sink at them so this is definitely one up for hornet month but as i say things are likely to change but my plan of action is literally is to build this and then the growler at the same time because let's face it in paintwork it's all going to be the same 
So, uh, but yes, really interesting. Expect reviews of these, probably not so much uh, of the actual Hobby Boss one. I'll probably just do an upgrade onto it because basically it's the basic kit with different wings for this particular one and obviously being two seater and stuff like that. But a full review obviously will be up next week of that one. I know people have asked about it. And to be honest with you, I did buy the E originally and then I sold it because I wasn't impressed with it, so it went out. But hopefully my problem that has been, which is behind the single seat cockpit, this area down in here, was very flat. We called it the pool table. Uh, this one, because the canopy goes further back, it's not as noticeable. So with any luck, with a few little uh, bits and pieces on there, it'd be really nice. The nice thing about that Ravel one as well, you can do the Australian one. So if you're not a fan of obviously doing US markings, things like that, you could do the Aussie one in there as well, which is a really nice touch. So uh, definitely be looking at doing something like that right the way through. So that's good. So expect those reviews to come up. And also the surprise for me was this. It's like, I've got a massive box turned up today and then this was in the bottom and I was like, what's that? But this is actually a kit with a wingspan of uh, 34 centimeters in a box that big. I'm intrigued to know how it fits in, but you know what I'm like, I won't open it until I do the review. So the chance I'm gonna do the review this afternoon and it'll be up with you next week. But this is the U2 Dragon Lady. It's the very early version of the U2, if you like, uh, obviously by Hobby Boss in one centi second scale. But it just is in the smallest box you've ever seen. I'm just amazed at how they can fold all up this kit into such a tiny box and they're thinking behind it. But I'm assuming the sprues for the wings and that, it's all going to be sort of multi-part and all the rest of it. But anyway, we won't know until we actually get into the uh, doing the review of that one. So say, stay tuned next week. Lots of reviews coming out. I've also got coming down to me the Zero. Um, obviously, that's the latest release by Eddard. I've also got the SR71 coming down and a few other bits. Which other one? We've got something else that's been released is coming down as well and we're expecting the razor quest any minute as well so that one will be down to be next week so next week running up to christmas it's going to be review city if you like as we're making our way down the other big thing is, if we just pop over to video builds, it went up this morning, is the first part of obviously the Battlestar Galactica. Again, wanted to do it. Uh, this photo is with one I put up on social media. It's sort of a placeholder until I get the proper ones done. But again, it is in there now. And then obviously members, you can just click on these now. I'm gonna put these up and if you click onto them, it'll take you over to the video build. But generally you can see, it's just basically putting this one together. It's not Bandai, but it's very good in its fit. It locks together, no real fit issues or anything else like that. It's one of those things, just make sure you clean up good and you'll have no problem with it at all but anyway in part one of it what we actually do is get it to this uh to this stage at the front so we get the front done and the mid and then the next part of it will be the rear and then obviously the actual the pods on the side for the flight decks and we'll get those done and then hopefully we'll get it into paint so this has literally just come out of paint and again it's one of those ones where it looks a little bit funny because it hasn't got any sort of technically wash or weathering on it yet. Once it does, everything will pop. But what we've done with this one is try to do some shadow painting as well. So we've gone from the front to the rear. So when you look at it head on, it looks quite solid, but from the rear, it looks very detailed. It's a way of just causing shadow into panel lines to exaggerate them. It's worked really nice. I'm very, very happy with it. So what we're going to do with this one, we're going to get the colours onto it because there's a little bit of colour to go on this one round it. We'll get the decals onto it and then we can go into the weathering stage, so forth and so on. So this one's probably not going to be a massive build, maybe a four-parter, something else like that. But hopefully we'll get this one finished off by early part of next week as we're working our way through. And then I can start on my next quick project, which will be finishing off, if I can grab it, she's slightly out of reach, the Spitfire before the end of the year. So, so I've got reviews all next week, so hopefully I'll be able to fit this in. But this is finished off the Spitfire. A few people have asked about it. This is the one we did the basic series on. So what we're going to do is step it up and do a little bit of intermediate work on this one. So for this particular purpose, what we do is a little bit of post shading, and then obviously it's going to have some weathering onto it, and then obviously we'll get the gear onto it, exhaust, things like that, so forth and so on. Get it unmasked, get the aerials on it and all the rest of it to complete off our Spitfire before the end of the year. So got a lot to do over the next few weeks, lots of reviews, finishing this one off and all the other bits and tying them in. So there's a lot to get on with as we make our way through. Anyway, uh, over to the PM store. Uh, they've been actually very busy uh, this week, as I was saying before. So we've got new products that have come in. Uh, down in here. This is the Hornets, uh, or one of the Hornets. Where's the other one? I thought we had both up, but apparently not. Okay, so we've just got the F up here at the moment. Uh, I don't know where the E's gone. Where's the E? Have they not got the, I didn't really, all right. Perhaps we haven't actually got the other one in yet. Uh, but anyway, we've got the F, uh, which is obviously the 2C to 1 review next week. That's the Dragon Lady, the one we were just talking about up there as well. SR71s came in on Wednesday, as you probably know, <laughs> and it's sold out already. Okay, so we were talking about this one is a, you know, on the Wednesday show, is a great kit because technically, 
finally you get uh, the actual um, uh, O2 bird dog in there as well and you get the Bronco and the figures. So hopefully we'll get some more of those in very, very soon. The Zero I've got coming down to me as well. And again, all the other bits which we've spoken about before down in there. So that's all the new stuff that's been coming in this week. We've also got up on the specials. Um, oh, there it is. So there we go, we've got the Growler up. Now the reason why the Growler's in here, and we've already done a bit of a discount for it is, it was so quick coming in. We wasn't expecting it as fast as it's come in. We thought it was coming in after the F, the two seater. Um, but uh, so anyway, what we've done is normally we give a discount as a pre-order because it's happened so quick. What we've done is we put up on pre-order. So if you want to grab yourself one, you can get yourself a little bit of a bargain down in there and uh, get yourself a few quid off and order it in there. We've got the Spitfires, which is obviously the one I just showed you as well. That's exactly the same one as there because uh, Hobby 2000 has reboxed the 30 second scale uh, Revell kit and it is a beautiful one it very much is and it's, I've done the I think mine's the Mark 9 so this is the earlier ones uh, being the actual Mark 5s and Mark 2s and Mark 1 as you can see down in here and again we've got a little bit of Airfix come in we've got some of the Hurricane some of the other bits and pieces as you can see right the way along so if you fancy a Das Works uh, 70 second sub got a bit of a deal going down in there and all the other ones as normal as you can see down in here and we've got the damage box section so don't forget damage box means means a light crumple uh, or something on a corner but again all the ones as you can see just down in there so if you want to grab yourself one of those they are up there right now so you can get any deals in there and that is about it for this week as I say I've been pretty busy getting on with it again I'm just going to say the mugs if you've ordered a mug they are literally on their way to you that's all i can say as i say all the us canada rest of the world ones things like that they all went out before the european ones which actually went out then before the uk ones but they have all been sent and are on their way again check your tracking information everything's got tracking that was sent out for the mugs and the bits and pieces so they are coming out now lots of people have asked about this because i mentioned it on one of the other shows about uh want a mug and everything else like that like i said before we have had a couple of breakages we've had 500 of them done uh, and I think so far we've had six that have been damaged in shipping so what it is I've sent out replacements for those people uh, and going out there but once everyone's got the mug and is happy any that are left will go back up on sale and you'll be able to grab yourself one from there next year we will be releasing a standard mug these are the limited edition ones because it's got the date but we will be doing a standard mug which might not be colored on the inside or anything else like that but it'll have the normal logo this logo onto it so forth and so on so if you are on the lookout for a mug you can grab your Itself, one of those as it makes its way through and at the same time it goes from the merch I know a couple of weeks ago I showed you the new polo shirts which are these ones and then I showed you obviously the t-shirts and all the other bits of merch and sticker sets and all the rest of it that we're doing those will probably be available now to be honest with you after Christmas purely because yes we've got them all here but I've got to sort through them we need to get them photos of them we need to get them onto the website and everything else like that and literally because we're two weeks away from Christmas it's getting a little bit like silly season at the moment of trying to get it all done so bear with us and we will get them sorted out uh, and they will be up available to buy but there's some good stuff in there and it looks quite pretty as well so if you want to support the site and all the rest of it that's the easiest way of doing it and that is about it for this week anyway as always i'm going to leave you with your great work on a friday so from the gallery so until next week everybody happy modeling take care